The DSM Syndicate has just completed a brief follow-up exploration program on its Goldcrest property, situated approximately 10 kilometres northeast of Bellacoola, British Columbia. In 2017, the company discovered the Cadillac Trend, a 750 metre long by 100 metre wide gossonous zone that has now been expanded to 850 by 190 metres and remains open in all directions. Mineralisation defining the Cadillac trend is associated with a large gossonous zone with extensive silicification, sericitization and chloride alteration of metavolcanics and clastic rocks. Within this zone is a silicified pseudo-breccia or possible pillow breccia, the former possibly reflecting a pipe-like feature. The Cadillac trend hosts gold-silver, silver-gold arsenic and silver-gold copper mineralization that is structurally and fracture controlled, characterizing a disseminated and stockwork overprint in a volcanogenic setting with remobilization along preferential shears and fracture systems. ASI highlights include a 1 meter chip sample that returned 56.1 grams per tonne gold or 1.6 ounces per tonne and 124 grams per tonne silver. The large alteration footprint of the Cadillac trend and consistently elevated gold and silver values indicate a large mineralizing system may be present at depth. A brief reconnaissance prospecting program surrounding the Cadillac trend discovered numerous distal quartz veins from 500 metres north and up to 1.5 kilometres south. These veins are up to 1.5 metres wide and can be traced along strike for over 100 metres. The veins acid up to 7.97 grams per tonne gold and 252 grams per tonne silver, demonstrating the strong untapped gold potential on the Goldcrest property. Extensive regions of snowpack and glacial recession on the Goldcrest property provide large areas with strong gold and silver potential that remain to be explored, providing for future discovery potential. Follow-up work will focus on expanding the known extent of mineralization at the Cadillac trend, which will include detailed mapping, geochemical sampling, drone imagery, channel sampling and geophysics, all in preparation for drilling.